Number 1097, the incomparable Liz McColgan from Scotland, gold medalist over 10 Ks at the last games. One of the three New Zealanders there, Anne Hare. And the 3-3-3, Nicola Morris from England. There's Sonia Barry, Carolyn Shawano, the Australian. And a field of 14 starters. No heats in this event, a straight final. And also in the field, running in bare feet. Third from the left, just 14 years of age. Kanasiri Lokelu from Swaziland. John Davies, Lorraine Mullet, some thoughts before the race? Well, I think this is going to be a very tactical race because it's such a big field. And we've got um, Liz McColgan here, who I would pick as the favourite, but uh, I think she's going to have a really hard job because it's very deep. And she's going to have a lot of competition from Angela Chalmers and Yvonne Murray from Scotland. And I think um, Liz has got to get out there and uh, take this race from the front if she has a chance of winning it. Three Scots women in this field. In fact, we may well see a Scottish Quinella here, John Davies. Uh, could well do, and I'm told that the competition is on between Yvonne Murray and Liz McColgan. Both of them want to be the dominant Scottish runner. Now's their chance to prove it. Lizanne Buziera from Canada, and there's uh, Yvonne Murray, who won the World Cup over this distance just a couple of months ago. A study of concentration down on the inside, in the starter's hands, as a few spits of rain drift across Mount Smart Stadium. It's rather bleak here at the moment. Liz McColgan, really the only real rival that uh, Ingrid Christensen has had over 10 Ks on the road or on the track in recent years. Has been out of the athletic scene for the past six months, but has meticulously prepared herself in Canberra for this meeting. I don't know what the delay is there, but they've been standing to attention now for the best part of a couple of minutes. Well, there's still something like 13 seconds to go to the official start. And at last, the starter lets them go. Yvonne Murray down on the inside, and running alongside of her is her compatriot Karen Hutchison. Remember, there are three Scottish runners in this race, along with the three New Zealand runners and Liz McColgan in the middle of the field there, just getting checked slightly at this rather slow pace as they take off and running right around the outside, covering an enormous amount of ground, is Annie Kigongwa from Malawi. This looks, a, this looks a bit like the steeplechase race, John. Oh, it does, doesn't it? And Liz McColgan decides, if you don't want the lead, I'll take it. Now, she does tend to go out from the front and likes to be uh, out there an impatient type of runner, but three Scottish uh, ladies now into the lead. But that first 100 metres was dangerous for everybody because it's in that sort of crash. Somebody gets tripped and falls over. So Liz McColgan takes over there holding on 300 meters to go in this great women's 3000 meter final and it's tough down the back straight into the strong headwind as Yvonne Murray looks across and sees the large crowd of 20,000 people these two women it's head to head for the gold medal at the 200 meter mark Murray of Scotland Chalmers of Canada and struggling back in third place is Liz McColgan she came here to win the double the 3000 10,000 meter double she's not going to do it well, Angela Chalmers, can she get excited about this? Even Murray, has she got enough determination to press when she hits the home straight? You have to be ready to kick if you're in the lead. Has Who? Eva Murray got that? Who's got the best sprint? Is it Murray or is it Chalmers? And it's Angela Chalmers, the Canadian, a superbly timed run as she kicks from 50 metres out and enough to take her into the tape and win the gold medal. A beautifully judged race from the 26-year-old from Manitoba, ranked only third in the Commonwealth, and Liz McColgan coming home in third place. Hutchison fourth. Canada get their first gold medal on the track here. Angela Chalmers wins in an unofficial time of 838.39 and a personal best easily for the Canadian.